Let's learn to correctly pronounce some English words that are commonly mispronounced by some native speakers. Some of these words are difficult to pronounce because of the consonant combinations. They're just simply difficult to say. And another reason they're difficult to pronounce is because often there's another word with a similar pronunciation but a different meaning and people confuse those two words. Some of these words are not advanced words. They're everyday words and you probably know the meaning. Other words are quite advanced for non-native speakers of English. So if you're learning them for the first time, let's make sure you learn how to pronounce them correctly. Let's get started. The first word is asterisk. Let's pronounce that word. Asterisk. Pay attention to that SK ending. Asterisk. A common mistake is for people to say asterisk. Don't say that. Make sure you say asterisk. An asterisk is a symbol that looks like a star. In writing, it's a symbol used to indicate a footnote, something that you write at the bottom in very small letters. Sometimes you put an asterisk next to a word to draw attention to it. Please put an asterisk next to an item that you consider urgent. Please put an asterisk next to an item that you consider urgent. The following two words are sometimes confused by native speakers. The only difference between them is the extra R in one of the words. Listen to the pronunciation. Prostate, prostrate. You can see why they can be confusing, right? A prostate is a part of a man's body and it's located in the reproductive system. That test is used to diagnose prostate cancer. That test is used to diagnose prostate cancer. And prostate cancer is a compound noun, so we'll stress the first word and we'll link the words prostate cancer. Let's say that again. That test is used to diagnose prostate cancer. And prostrate is the position of the body. When you're down on the ground and your face is facing down on the ground, you are prostrate. I saw a man prostrate on the ground. I saw a man prostrate on the ground. The worshipers were in a prostrate position during prayer. The worshipers were in a prostrate position during prayer. How do you say the next word? Some native speakers don't pronounce the first C. They say Arctic. You have to pronounce both of those C's. It should be pronounced Arctic, Arctic. Don't say Arctic. It's a slight K sound, Arctic, Arctic. The area around the North Pole is the Arctic region, Arctic. His grandfather was an Arctic explorer. His grandfather was an Arctic explorer. How do we pronounce the next word? If you pronounce a TH sound at the end, that's not correct. Don't say height. It's not a TH, it's an HT. We say height, height. The word height is confusing to pronounce because when we say length or strength, there is a TH at the end, but not with height. Listen to this. Strong, strength. Long, length. High, height. I need to adjust the height of this chair. I need to adjust the height of this chair. The doctor said that I was above the ideal weight for my height. The doctor said that I was above the ideal weight for my height. How do we pronounce the next word? This is a difficult word to pronounce because of the combination of consonants. It's very difficult to pronounce the X and then the TH. The X represents a K 
and an S. And then we have a TH. We have three consonants together. That's called consonant clusters. Let's make sure that we pronounce all three consonant sounds. Sixth. Sixth. Try not to skip that S. Don't say sixth. Let's say that again. Sixth. We threw a big party for his sixth birthday. Let's say that again. We threw a big party for his sixth birthday. That's very difficult to say, isn't it? I sat in the sixth row. I sat in the sixth row. You can see how this is difficult even for native speakers. Let's look at the next word. How do we say it? Realtor. Realtor. Some people say realtor. I've heard native speakers pronouncing it that way. Don't say it like that. Make sure you say realtor. A realtor is a real estate agent, someone who sells houses. Let's say that word again, real estate agent. Let's connect real and estate. Say them as one word, real estate, real estate, real estate agent. He's a real estate agent. He's a realtor. The realtor showed us some houses last weekend. The realtor showed us some houses last weekend. The next two words are commonly confused. The first word is sometimes incorrectly pronounced as the second word. Listen to the pronunciation. Supposedly. Supposedly. Don't say supposedly. That's a common mistake. Supposedly means something that is assumed or believed to be true, but it's doubtful. We're not sure if it's really true. He supposedly graduated from college. He supposedly graduated from college. Let's look at the next word. That's a very common word. Native speakers sometimes mispronounce it because there are two R's and they're difficult to say together. You will often hear native speakers say February instead of February. It should be February. You should pronounce both of those R sounds. Let's say them again. February. However, because so many people have been saying February, the incorrect version, for such a long time, even some dictionaries are beginning to recognize that it's okay to say February. It's up to you to decide. I believe it's good to pronounce that first R and to make the effort to pronounce all of the consonants. Let's say that again. February. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. Let's look at the next two words. Let's say the first word. Moot. Moot. And the second word, mute, moot, mute. You can see why they're confusing. There's a common expression with the word moot. People say it's a moot point. And the common mistake is when people say it's a mute point, make sure you say moot. If something is moot, it's irrelevant. It's not important for the discussion. It doesn't bring any value to the discussion. I think you made the wrong decision, but it's a moot point. Nothing can be done now. I think you made the wrong decision, but it's a moot point. Nothing can be done now. And the word mute means unable to create sound, not able to speak. If someone can't see, they're blind. But if someone can't speak, they're mute. The boy has been mute since birth. The boy has been mute since birth. And on your remote control, if you would like to eliminate the sound, you have a mute button. I can't find the mute button on this remote. I can't find the mute button on this remote. Sometimes it can be an advantage to be a non-native speaker. When you learn how to pronounce the words, 
you learn them correctly because you learn them as an adult. You don't pick up any bad habits. Don't be surprised if you sometimes find yourself correcting native speakers. The more advanced you get, the more this is likely to happen. You're learning the words for the first time as an adult and you have to make sure you're pronouncing everything so you're paying extra attention. The more advanced your English gets, the more likely it is for this to happen. To make sure that you're pronouncing English words correctly, I recommend that you read a lot on a wide variety of subjects and keep expanding your vocabulary. Also, listen to native speakers who use language well. Find good role models of speech. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and keep practicing your English. To learn all of the rules for a good American accent, you can buy my online video courses at accurateenglish.com.